Hello, I'm Richard Murphy. I've already done a video on the disastrous consequences of the government's treatment of the Northern Ireland Protocol within the UK Internal Markets Bill that it is putting before Parliament now and which is deeply aggravating the European Union. But there is another dimension to this bill which as far as I'm concerned is at least as important and that is within the UK itself. The bill is an affront to international law in the sense that it literally declares us outside the normal provisions that apply in that international law arena. But we do have international law within the UK now because, quite literally, the UK is not a single country, it is a union of four countries, as its name implies. England, Wales, Scotland and Northern Ireland make up a United Kingdom, but with different constitutional settlements for each of them. Now the point is that this new bill does not only provide a front to Ireland and the rest of the European Union, which is also being taken up by states like the United States of America as an affront to it over the process of trying to separate Northern Ireland from the rest of the UK, or rather integrate it when it is inappropriate, but it also provides an affront to the governments of Wales and Scotland as well because they are, of course, devolved powers within the United Kingdom. And Section 46 of the UK Internal Markets Bill says very clearly that the UK government is reclaiming rights for itself that have previously been devolved. What are those things? Health, education, economic policy, issues around transport, local infrastructure, all these things are being claimed for the UK government when previously, or rather at this moment, they are devolved so that they are subject to control from Cardiff and from Edinburgh. This therefore tears devolution to shreds. We must not let that happen. It has taken decades for devolution to reach this stage where the people of Scotland and Wales, through their own choice, have taken responsibility for these areas of government. And now, without any consultation, without any referendum, without any form of consent, the UK government is seeking to take those powers back. The UK Internal Markets Bill is not just an affront to international law outside the UK, it's an affront to international law within the UK. Devolution effectively ends if this bill is passed. This bill undermines almost everything that we know about the way in which the UK is going to be governed and managed and be seen by the rest of the world in years to come. It's a disaster and it has not to happen. I'm Richard Murphy, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to this video series on YouTube if you're interested. Also look for us on Facebook. I am on Twitter, at Richard J Murphy. And at the same time, look at my blog, Tax Research UK, where you can find much more on these themes. And I'll see you again soon.